Our next topic is the distributive property. Again, a lot, a lot of these ch chapter one topics are things you might have learned before, so if so, that's great. Still, please uh, take notes and write the definitions of the vocabulary words in your notes, so that way you have everything in a nice, organized way. So here we go, like terms. These are going to be two or more terms with the exact same variables and exponents. So um, they could be, for example, 3x, uh, 5x, and negative 6x. These are like terms because they can be combined because they have the same variables and the same exponents. They all have an x, and more importantly, they all have an x to the first power. So what if we had, I don't know, 6x squared, 4x, and negative 3 x squared. Which ones are like terms? Well, they have to have not only the same variables, but also the same exponents. So these two are like terms, and this one is not a like term. So this one and this one could be combined together, uh, and this one would be left alone, not combined. Okay, simplest form. Um, this is just what it sounds like. Uh, you've essentially combined everything together as much as possible. So if there are two like terms that are not yet combined together, you have combined them. So there are no like terms left over. And there are also no parentheses. So when you want to reduce something to simplest form, if there are parentheses, you need to distribute, which is kind of what this lesson is going to be about. Um, but a little bit of vocab first is when something is to put into parentheses, uh, simplest form, clear parentheses by distributing and combine like terms. Uh, last thing is just a reminder of this definition of coefficient. It's the number in front of any term. So if I have, I don't know, 16x squared y, the coefficient is the 16. It's the numerical part that goes in the front. All right, so this distributive property, what is it? So the equation really is the way to define the distributive property. And it just means that if you have some number or term outside of parentheses, and you have two or more things inside it that are added or subtracted, you can multiply the thing in the front by each of the two or more things that are inside. And this is called distribution. So the thing out front multiplies by the first one, and that gives you the first product, AB. thing in the front multiplies by the second thing, that gives you AC. And you could have, you know, more things. If you have three terms in here, you'll have three terms out here. But for now, we're going to start very, very basic. So let's do a couple of examples, and that's all there is for this lesson. All right, if you have a 5 outside and an x minus 4 in the parentheses, you multiply the 5 in to both things by distribution. So 5 times x is 5x minus, minus 5 times 4 is 20. You could also think of it as plus 5 times negative 4 or plus a negative 20. Uh, either way, you're going to get minus 20. Okay, let's distribute. Negative 4 times 3 is negative 12. And here, negative 4 times negative m becomes plus 4m. Or you could think of it as minus a negative 4m. Either way, we get negative 12 plus 4m. And as we said before, it's nice to write the variables in the front, so it might be nice to write 4m minus 12. Okay, here we go. Here's three things inside. Again, doesn't matter. We still distribute the same way. And the number that we're multiplying is on the back. This also doesn't matter because of the property we learned last section, the commutative property. The order doesn't matter. So the fact that the 5 is here, we can still distribute in. We're just going to distribute in to all three pieces. So 6x times 5 is 30x, plus 3y times 5. 3y times 5 is 15y. And negative 11 times 5 is negative 55. So plus a negative, or just subtract. We haven't talked about this too much, but uh, when you're multiplying a term with variables uh, times a number, you just multiply the two numbers together, and the variable stays there. All right. Now, those were distribution in the normal standard way, but you can also kind of undo distribution or do it in, in reverse. So reverse distribution has an actual name. It's called factoring. Uh, typically, we just say factoring, but the proper title is factoring out common factor. So if you're going to factor, you have to look at the answer and say, what did it look like before I distributed? So there's going to be some number out front, and then the parentheses will have stuff inside. So what do you have in common between a 12 and an 8? They both have a 4 in common. And before I multiply the 4 in here, what was it? Well, the opposite of multiplication is division. So let's divide by 4 in both places. So 12 divided by 4 is 3, and there's still an x, of course, plus 8 divided by 4. And you can check, is this correct? The way that you check is just distribute the 4 back in. So 4 times 3x is 12x, 
and 4 times 2 is 8, so it works. Okay, a 9 and a 27, what do those have in common? The common factor between 9 and 27 is a 9. If we divide out a 9, again this is the opposite of distribution, so we're dividing out instead of multiplying. 9 divided by 9 is 1, plus 27 divided by 9 is 3, and m doesn't have anything to cancel it, so it's still there, like that. So 9 times 1 plus 3m. If we distribute the 9 back in, we can check and see that it will work. Lastly, x squared plus 5x. They don't have any numbers in common, but they do both have an x, so you can actually factor out the variable x. If you take an x out of an x squared, divide by x, you may not have learned this, um, but we'll cover it this year. x squared divided by x is just x, plus, if we divide by x, certainly you know that these two x's should cancel out, leaving behind just a 5. And if you hadn't learned that x squared over x is x, um, you can at least check when you multiply x and you distribute it back in, you should know that x times x is x squared, because any number multiplied by itself gives you that number squared. Okay, so we checked all three and they look good. Distribution is multiplying some number or term outside of parentheses by everything inside, and that's all there is to it. And then we have this idea of factoring where you undo distribution by working backwards. Alright, see you in class.